Hey guys, Miles from Nexus Core here, finally bringing you my Shadow Paladin deck profile. Um, yeah, uh, the starters, full bow, y'all know it's the same starter as all the other decks. Um, for Phantom Blaster Dragon, this card's pretty, it's cool. Uh, it's first skill, it's, 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 it's force, 13k base, which is stupid. Uh, counter bust one and retire three rear guards. Your opponent chooses three of their rear guards and retires them. Then this unit gets 15k and a crit. Uh, so yeah, you blow up your field to blow up their field and then you gain power. Um, it's not once per turn, so if you want, you can use it multiple times and then a PG will shut it down. Or if you're playing OTT, they just pick daughter and they're okay. Um, uh, and then its other skill is once per turn, if your opponent has four or less cards in their damage zone and no rear guards, you can soul blast one grade three as if it were, you know, already not limited enough and deal one damage to your opponent. Um, yeah. I don't like Shadow Paladin. Uh, three Dark Dictator. This one's all right. Uh, it's a force as well. Um, it, it's the usual, like... The same with Alfred and the original Dark Dictator. It gains 2k for... Um, 2, 2k for each of your rear guards. Uh, then its other skill is... Once per turn, counter boss 1. Call up to one grade 2 or less card from your hand to rear guard, and that unit gets 5k until end of turn. Then your opponent chooses one of their rear guards and retires it. So, yeah. It's got, like, some control aspects in the deck. It's kind of cool. Then I run one vibe car. Uh, I've considered putting this at 2 of, but... This deck burns through soul pretty quickly, so I don't I don't see too much of a point. Um, its skill is on Vanguard Rearguard once per turn. You soul blast one. Look at the top card of your deck and call it or put it into the drop zone. If you called it, it gets five k, and at the end of the turn, retire that unit. So um, uh, it's it's just nice to like help fill a field for uh, Phantom Blaster Dragon. Um, so that's kind of cool. Those are the grade threes. Uh, I run four Blaster Dark. It really bothers me that two of them are foil. So this card's really revolutionary. Um, people are saying that it changed Vanguard. It's 10k. Uh, its first skill is the typical like blaster, you know, avatar crap where you know you retire a unit. Uh, one place kind of must one. Your opponent picks a rear guard and retires it. All of it is like all of the retiring is your opponent chooses because that's cool, I guess, right? And then um, the other skill. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, this is the one that revolutionized Vanguard. Um, that's an inside joke for those of you, for all of you who really don't get it. Um, if your opponent has no rear guards, you can discard a card from your hand. It gets an extra drive check into underturn. Uh, so, you know, you can do an extra twin drive. Um, it's, it's all right. Uh, against Neo Nectar, it completely doesn't work because tokens, um, and you can't retire that much early game. We run for Maka, Darkness Maiden Maka. Um, uh, she's pretty cool. Uh, once per turn, you can counter blast one and call a grade one or less card from your hand to rear guard if you do draw, and this unit gains 5k. Um, you can couple that in tandem with Karen, which we'll go into later for what is effectively a free draw and free plus 5k. Uh, then we were in three Tragic Knight Kuth Kuthbod, or wait, if Bibe Car is B D A A D H Kuth, it, maybe it's like Kai Bod or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, when, the, when it attacks a vanguard, it gets 3k until end of that battle. For each rearguard, you have more than your opponent. It even helps out the people who are bad at this game. Uh, plus 9k if you have 5 and your opponent has 2. Because that's 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so like when you retire units with um, Phantom Blaster Dragon, if you can supplement that loss, then this puts it to like... You know, I've had it swing for like 22, 25k alone. Um, an extra 10k if it's on a force circle. Uh, and then grade 1s... I run three Blaster Javelin. Um, it's it's when it's placed. If you have two or more Grade One or less uh, rear guards, Counter Blast one, draw a card, and this unit gains three K. So it's it's cool. Um, if you, I mean, you can make it an attacker too. If you call it like on an ex, uh, an Excel. Did I say Excel earlier? Because I'm at Force. But if you call it to a Force Circle, it's twenty one K. So that's kind of neat. Um, and then call it with Maka for that draw two. For Skull Witch Nemin, this card helps the deck significantly. If only there were other grade ones I would like to call from deck that had 5k. 
or other units with 5k that I would like to call from deck, but um, her skills once, no, act, you rest her, and uh, search your deck for up to one 5k card, call it to an open rear guard, and shuffle a deck. You can only be, and you can only use it. This ability uh, for all copies of Nem and Kill Me, it's like Buddy Fight with um, ability names, but apparently Vanguard just was too incompetent to put that in, so um, they had to word it, word it really weirdly. Uh, so it says this ability may only be used by a card with the same card name once a turn. Sure. Um, I, maybe they could have made like a, a new marking. I don't know. I'm being picky. Uh, here's Carolyn. This card's pretty great. Uh, when it's called, when it's placed due to the ability of your card, counter, sold last one, counter charge one, and it gains 3k. So Maka, call Maka, Maka skill, counter blast one, call Karen. Uh, Mach is at 15, boosted by Karen, that's 23, Karen gains 3k, that's a 26, or, you know, trigger, um, force, it's 36, whatever, uh, and then you basically just refund that counter blast for Maka. So you get a draw, and then you get that additional, like, power bonus to the column. Um, so, definitely four of. Also, if you top deck it with Bibe Car, that's pretty cool, too. I've done that one time. It was really fun. And then I run three Nightmare Painter. Um, I mainly just run this card because soul is an issue. Uh, and this card is how you supplement that. So, um... Its skill is when placed, put a grade one or less card from your drop zone into your soul, and it gains, and then this unit gains 3k, so make it a 10k. Uh, I don't really get why it's put a grade one or less card from your drop into soul. I guess, like, I mean, I think it would be a lot cooler if it could show, shove a grade three in there, because that would help Phantom Blaster Dragon, but whatever. Uh, you know, can't really be happy. So there's a grade ones. Uh, trigger lineup. We run six crit. Four heal. Four draw PGs and two other draws. Uh, the reason for that is that Phantom Blaster Dragon, um, you know, has the the double crit uh, using its own skill, and um, uh, f like, yeah, and then it, it it can poke for damage, so um, you don't need eight crit, uh, and you really want to see. You know, at the moment, we don't have, like, what G-Shadows did, where, like, when stuff got retired, you would gain benefits for it. We, li yeah, we literally have nothing. Um, we just have Nemin to, like, help out uh, with the retire costs. But, um, so far, uh, we have nothing. So, um, just having more draw power to draw into your resources is really important. So that's why six draw. Um, maybe put it at seven if you want. I feel like that's too much. Then we got our markers. Uh... Shout out to China for hooking me up with this. That was really cool of you. Um, I pulled that. That that one's cool. And then, um, you know, Beta Aichi and... <laughs> Ren, he's so cool. My favorite character. Uh... Your characters are well written, am I right? Um, so that's the deck. I don't enjoy it. Don't build this deck. Build something that's like tier one or just actually like well designed. Uh... I mean, it won at my shop locals last week. I won with it at my shop locals last week, so, you know, it's basically tier 1.5, but... And, I mean, Blaster Arc does revolutionize the game, but, you know, um, it's it still pales in comparison to uh, stuff like Neo Nectar and cards that can prevent, you know, daughter, cards that can prevent um, retiring. Okay, cool. So, that's all. Uh, so... What are you guys looking forward to building in the next buddy fight set?